What's up guys welcome to your 18th Android app development tutorial this tutorial is a continuation of the previous tutorial in this tutorial I will show you the codes of method 3 implementation of the event listener in case of buttons now let's proceed and open our Eclipse now here in the Eclipse I have created a project button method 3 now in earlier tutorials I explained you method 1 and method 2 very elaborately and illustratively now it's time for method 3 here I am having the main activity and the activity main.xml I have already set up everything now let us remove this hello world we don't need it right let us drag and drop a button right double click on it let's change it to first button right id let's say b first right now drag and drop another button wherever you want second button right now change the id to b second right now guys this is our method 3 in which we are trying to ignite the event listener from our XML layout itself so let's add an attribute let's say on click use control space right it will automatically generate the code for you let's say the method name perform stuff now similarly in second button also on click perform stuff right now let's go to our main activity in our main activity what we're gonna do is just type public void perform stuff right it requires a parameter let's say view v now here we have to write codes to perform action right now what we're gonna do is just type log dot d shrieks button was clicked right now let's save it and execute it right click run as run configuration right browse the app button method 3 right target right apply run now let us use our shakes filter right now click on the first button right shrieks button was clicked second button button was clicked button was clicked like this now here guys again we are not able to differentiate between the two buttons which button is getting clicked now in that case what we are gonna do we have to just provide what switch case statement again case r dot id dot now we are good to go this will enable us to differentiate between two buttons which button is getting clicked right now again save it and run the application right click the first button first button was clicked then second button was clicked and so on so pretty simple guys in this third method we are able to perform our action by just using a simple method perform stuff which is a user defined you can name it as per your wish and this function I have defined where inside the main activity in under the attribute on click I have defined the method perform stuff so when this button is clicked then this perform stuff function is called and when this button is clicked again this function is called now you can have your multiple function for different buttons it's up to you your wish no props now instead of switch case also you can also use if else statement as I showed you in the tutorials where I showed you on click listener right so thanks for watching guys catch you guys in the next tutorial please subscribe to my channel this is Shrakes from smarthood signing off and do leave a comment below my video and have a nice day